Hi my magical creatures and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is how to deal with seeing ghosts and spirits and stuff like that. Um, oh my god I have a bunch of like crazy stories and you know of me seeing, seeing, seeing them physically and everything like that. Um, so before we begin don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, like, comment, uh, and subscribe. Um, it's a free way to help your girl out. So let's get started. So um yeah so basically how to deal with seeing ghosts and uh stuff like that so for me when i first seen a ghost um i remember i was in high school my um you know i was going through like my awakening process um i saw like this little boy and he did not have a head at all and you know how when you go to disneyland or disney world and you go on like the haunted mansion ride and you see like the ghosts dancing and stuff like that um and they're like see-through and they're like um, I know the one in Disneyland, they're like green and everything like that. That's literally how I saw them was exactly like in the Haunted Mansion. They were see-through and everything like that. But, um, except they were like blue. It was like a, like a light blue color. It, they weren't green or anything like that. Um, but yeah, this boy, um, I remember seeing him and I was very terrified and scared because nobody else saw that. And I remember watching a movie with my uncle on the couch. And I remember looking at him. I said, do you see that? And then he got so mad at me because he thought I was making it up. And I said, I swear to you, he's right in front of us. How do you not see that? And, you know, he just said I was tripping. So, um, yeah. So, um, he didn't have a head or anything like that. And then, um... After that, I started seeing, like, other beings in the house, too. And it was just, like, really terrifying. And um, they never, like, physically hurt me or anything like that. But they would just show up and just sit, stand there and just stare at me. Um, so I ended up meeting another lady that could, that could see them physically, too, and stuff like that. So basically, these are kind of, like, my tips and tricks. So if this is happening to you guys, these are, like, my tips and tricks on what I did. And now I don't really see them anymore. Um, so the first tip is, um, have like a bowl of salt next to your bed. I heard that the, the lady that could see them too, she was saying that like, she does that if she can't sleep or anything like that. Um, just keep a bowl of salt next to your bed. And like, she said like the salt like distorts them and stuff like that. Um, so I was like, oh, okay. So, um, that's like another tip. Um, so what I did um, was that I basically imagine a white, just you sit there in your room and you imagine white light covering the house that you're in, covering the house completely around the house. Okay. And you want to imagine it in a dome, like not in a dome, but in a bubble, the whole house, uh, is encased. Uh, uh there's a bubble around the house of white light. Um, and then so, and then also too, you want to imagine the shield too, that's under the house too, like it's a bubble. Cause if it's a dome, like they can come in through like underneath and stuff like that. So once you imagine there's white light around the dome, just, um, you know, just imagine it, uh, the intentions. Um, usually what I say is like this white light shield is become, uh, is becoming a lot stronger and more resistant to any negative or bad energies. Um, nothing can penetrate this shield. Any attack made to this white light shield, this white light shield becomes even more stronger, more resistant. Um, just say that. And then um, also say like this, this white light shield can shift with the earth's energies. Um, and then imagine like white lightning coming down and like charging the shield up. And like it's like charging its batteries up. So that way the shield is on. Um, so just say that. And like honestly, after that, I never saw them again in the house. Um, because a lot of their when you see ghosts and stuff like that, I truly believe like the, like the, the little boy that I saw with his head, like gone, I believe that they're earthbound. So what that means is that, um, they have not crossed over into the afterlife. Like they're stuck on the earth plane. Like they, some of them, you know, I don't really know a lot about like what happens, but some of them don't know that they're dead. And then some of them, um, you know, are just not ready to pass over because they want to get their story out. So that way, um, they hear their story. So that way they can, you know, like, oh, someone heard me. So now like I can, I can move on. You know what I mean? So 
definitely that's what i believe and also too like when you're highly intuitive and psychic and stuff especially if you have the gift of seeing you know spirits and ghosts and stuff like that um you'll start attracting them because they know who can see them and who can't you know um so that's why you'll notice them like following you and you know stuff like that um yeah so usually i did that um so, and then also to like another tip is like, um, you know, saging, you know, that will help. Um, also to, um, saging, um, calling on your angels, I uh, call on like Archangel Michael, um, call on your guardian angels, your spirit guides, you know, just for pr extra protection, you know, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, so definitely I did that and like, I never, I don't see them as much anymore i mean like every here and there i'll see stuff in the corner of my eye but like i don't really see them manifest in front of me like that anymore so um yeah i hope these tips and tricks help you guys um if you have any trouble with with that um i can definitely help um I also, i'm an intuitive healer i read people um so um definitely my website is in the link down below. Uh, so you definitely can book a reading with me or book a ses session with me. And I can definitely help you with that. So don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay magical.